His Excellency Director General with the UAE Space Agency, Salam Kwebesi. Yes. Welcome to Sydney IAC 2025 uh, and also welcome to Australia and Space TV. Thank lovely you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. It's really lovely being here. Uh, first time in Sydney, but not the first time in Australia. I'm finding the conference, the city, the people are really welcoming and I'm happy, so happy to be here today uh, with my colleagues and partners from the UA space agents, space sector in general. Well, look, it's a big footprint too, so it's yes. always impressive. And I was in Dubai earlier in, earlier in the year, yeah. so uh, have, have a sense of what you are doing there uh, in uh, the UAE. Uh, and yesterday uh, you were part of the workshops yes. with the Artemis Accords yes. as well. Yes. Maybe some insights from you uh, for the Australian and sort of Indo-Pacific audience. Yes. Uh, the, sort of the background to the space agency and sure. some of your key highlights. Sure. Well, the agency was established in 2014. Uh, our mandate is to be a regulator for the sector in the UAE. Also, we, c we carry some fund for the, uh, the sector for research and development uh, in, in, in the space sciences and technology. Uh, we've launched the, 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 the agency with a big ambitious uh, project that uh, uh, took us to, the, to Mars with our HOPE probe that was launched uh, and still in operation now in orbit around Mars. Uh, since then, three, two, three years ago, we've launched our new uh, kind of deep space exploration project with MBR Explorer right here. Nice. Uh, this will be launched in 2028 and will stay in operation for seven years, nice. orbiting, rendezvousing with seven asteroids in the asteroid belt. So these are the main flagship projects that the agency has, but we also have uh, here with us uh, today in the UAE Space Pavilion, uh, another big uh, player and operator in the sector of the space uh, is Mohammed Bin Rashid, the Space Center behind you. Uh, they also have a big uh, program they they do for us uh, for the UA in general the astronaut program also they have the rover program which uh, uh, will inshallah come up next year to be launched and uh, traverse over the moon uh, that's uh, some of the programs that they have the major one also that they have in the future they were, are developing the lunar uh, uh, they're developing the airlock for the lunar gateway got it so that's one of the biggest uh, artemis kind of uh, project that we are as a nation it sounds uh, somewhat regional. like australia you, you're punching well above your weight we uh, try yes. to we're small but we do punch up yes. our weight and we, you've got your own astronaut too uh, that's met, true uh, met him we, in Milan. we have uh, two astronauts that already had been to the uh, space station uh, our first female has just uh, last Wonderful. year completed her astro astronaut uh, program, training program, and her and her colleague are waiting, inshallah, for the opportunity to partake in, in going to the space station. Wonderful. Yes. Uh, now, you mentioned you're enjoying uh, Sydney here. Yes. What are some of the takeaways for you, uh, even, even here on the stand? Uh, I imagine there might be some announcements, but yeah, your general takeaways from Sydney IAC. Well, excellent uh, opportunity in general. You know, the, the, the venue, the IAC 2025 here in Sydney, brings us all aspiring nations, developed nations in space, uh, eager uh, you know, youth that are looking and presenting fabulous, great research that we got to see in the halls uh, in a different venue. By the way, we have about seven young uh, ambitious scientists and engineers are participating in seven different scientific papers that are actually presented nice. in the same. So we try to have, uh, you know, economy is present uh, our uh, big companies uh, who have uh, you know well well situated footprint in the space sector in UAE uh, have a chance to come here to Sydney showcase their capabilities and hopefully forge uh, new relations business opportunities with their counterpart here in Sydney. I take it uh, for those internationally, they can reach out to the UAE Space Agency yes. particularly to collaborate? That's that's we have uh, a website that has all the information that can reach out to us. We have many uh, initiatives and programs. Uh, we as, as, as here I get to the sense uh, in, 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 in Australia, they're eager for you know advancing and nurturing the economy of space. We are trying to have uh, the same uh, you know strategy in the coming future 
for being a, a beacon for uh, SMEs, talent and space. Uh, we pride ourselves of being a nation comprised of 200, over 200 nationalities yeah. and that's something that we hold dear to our heart. Uh, you can see, uh, look around uh, the pavilion, you'll see many uh, different uh, you know, citizens of countries, but they're all proud to be part of the UAE Space Pavilion. Well, it's one of those things I see when I'm in Dubai, you yes. see the Australian universities That's there, true. they've all got a footprint, That's uh, so, but it's always wonderful. Hopefully I'll be up there uh, sooner rather we'll than later. We're eager to see you and welcome you and the Space Agency wonderful. when you get there, Chris. Director General, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Enjoy the rest of IAC 2025. Thank you. And thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thank you for the opportunity.